energy Boyfriend Dungeon <laughs> Welcome guys, welcome back to Boyfriend Dungeon Last stream we got absolutely humiliated um, Let's see if somebody can cheer us up Yeah, but I hope everybody's doing well um, Uh, sorry, Leah. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, boy. Sweet. Uh, stop talking. Like you're a teenager. <laughs> like 900 years old. Um, anyway, um, hey, um, Kendall, how's it going? Welcome on in. Sorry, I'm trying desperately not to hit up. Um, this is scene of seven. Yeah, boy. Hey, bad taste bear. How's it going? Hey, sit muse. Hope you're well. You may have ten pounds. Right, guys, so get this, yeah. I learned Bad Taste Bear's name, right? <laughs> yeah, no worries. Hope he. Oh, so, sorry about the uh, headache. Hope, hope the headache fades soon. And hope work fades faster. Well, no, hope the headache fades faster, but hope work fades just as fast. No, I'm not calling you out. You're calling yourself out. Okay, uh, but if you're not following uh, Sit Muse, she's doing some. Uh, she does art, she does Hades. Um, we got Bad Taste Bear doing Grim Dawn. He does a variety of stuff, Call of Duty, retro stuff as well. Uh, definitely check him out. Uh, we've got Kendall, of course, not a streamer, but a dreamer. Right, so if I said, for example, let's say, I say, what's your name? And you say, it's Charles. And it's like, your name's not Charles. And then let's say, yeah, my name is Charles. Right. Then let's say two minutes later, you say, well, actually, Charles is my second name, but my, my real name's Norbert. And that's not your name, is it? That's your middle name. That's all I'm saying. That tastes fair. That's all I'm saying. Hmm. Seven. Everyone calls me by my second. I can't help it, can I? If everybody else is wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bad Taste Bear. You call yourself whatever you want. I think you have every right to call yourself um, by your middle name. Actually, uh, one of my mum's friend's partner. Um, everybody called him Alan, but his name was actually Samuel, uh, his name was actually Samuel Alan, I mean, whatever his surname was, but I think it's supposed to be Alan Samuel, whatever, uh, but they got the names mixed up on his birth certificate, so everybody called him Al, it wasn't actually Al. Okay, Crow, how's it going? I go Super Mario Galaxy. Yeah, it is. Like, do you ever just think about your name and just think, it's weird, that, isn't it? Like, why? I mean, like, proper think about a word as well. To change your category, you should. Misleading us. Why anything? Yeah. Why, why, why do I? Like... Anyway. Let's get on with the game. What? A Fantasia. Is this the film with Mickey Mouse in it? No, is this like something to do with seeing sound or colours? Um, oh, the inability to form mental images of objects that are not present. Oh, interestingly enough, I think one plant has that. 
aphantasia, where if you say picture an apple, we can't picture an apple. And then I heard that, so, so I don't know whether you guys have an inner monologue in your head. Like, say I'm walking down the street, I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is a lovely day. I'm, I'm just constantly chatting to myself. I'm like, shut up. Right. Apparently, like, a certain percentage, and it's quite a high percentage as well. It's not like 1%. It's like 30 to 40%. Apparently, 30 to 40% of the population don't have that going on in their head. Like, what? Can't you just give me some peace of fucking quiet? Why do I have a chatty brain? <laughs> Could start getting existential. I want to get existential in se seven. <laughs> what if the inner monologue becomes the outer monologue? That's true. I, I feel like... Because I, I know, like, in... I, I was listening to uh, an album. It's six and a half hours, and it's called Everywhere at the End of Time. And it's supposed to emulate the... Because I, I was listening to some videos on YouTube on dementia. And then I started getting recommendations on dementia. I got recommended this album project. It's like six separate albums representing the six stages of dementia. Well, there's seven stages of dementia, but the first stage, you can't really notice anything. So that'd just be like listening to normal music. Then the first album is stage two, essentially. And it's like this ballroom music and there's a bit of um, static in the background and occasionally the record will skip then that goes on for about 40 minutes the next album the next stage has uh, a bit more distortion a bit more disturbance in the music the tracks are longer because it's supposed to represent that the person knows there's an issue and they're trying to hang on to their memories so we're sort of forcibly memorising it um, and committing it to memory. The third stage is where it gets a bit weird, like the, the music repeats itself. There's some tracks that sort of stop start. Uh, the static's getting more uh, in the foreground. Stage four is completely sort of overrun with the static and you can sort of hear some musical melodies in the background. Um, that goes on for... That's four tracks, but the tracks that get named after like clinical stages. The fifth stage is like a cacophony of noise with like the faintest um, bits of music and just everything coming together. And then stage six is the worst one because it's pretty much just white noise, silence, no static. And then right at the end, you get this like organ music, which is supposed to represent terminal lucidity. So I think dementia patients, as they just prior to the death, the brain goes into sort of an active state, and then they gain back some of the memories because uh, because of the activity in the brain, and they can sort of converse as a normal person. And it's called terminal lucidity because after the next sort of 48 hours, that that sort of signals the death. It's a really interesting album. Uh, definitely dark, but. Um, yeah, I, I would not listen to it if you're in like a bad headspace or anywhere, but um, it is one of the most interesting projects I've ever heard. Um, and hey Jasm, how's it going? Sorry, I was just chatting to myself. Um, I'll put a link to it in chat if anybody wants to listen to it. Uh, but again, I'd, I'd recommend that you're sort of in the mood for it. Um, yeah, but it's... Um, I, I mean, the only reason that you mentioned it came to mind was when you mentioned out of monologue, because my uncle, he, he went through Alzheimer's, and there's a stage when he wouldn't have, like, anything... He, he wouldn't have any filter, like... For example, if you might make a, a sort of mean-spirited comment, but sort of keep it in your head, it, it just wouldn't. And, and it wasn't that he's being mean. Obviously, it's um, just that he couldn't sort of filter himself. Um, so I'm guessing that that's sort of what an alpha monologue would be. It's <laughs> how to get deep. Uh, but welcome in, Jazim Arch and... Um, 
Zozo. Hope you're all doing well. Yeah, um... If anything, if you go on the album and just read a Wikipedia article, that, that's also, um... Interesting. Um, daily tactile. Yeah, I've heard, like, puzzles, crossword puzzles are... Uh, are good for tackling that. I think it's uh, probably my worst fear myself. Sat to listen to a Taylor Swift album. Okay, how, how was it? I, I don't mind Taylor Swift. Hey, Penny, how's it going? Welcome in. So I'll get to all these um, shout outs in a second. Um, day Supersonic. Hope you're doing well. God. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I go through chat from top to bottom. Um, but yeah, we just... Uh, it's all started because of that Fantasia, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, if you're not following Jasm, he's doing some Resident Evil. Uh, definitely check him out. Um, hope your headache eases soon. And I think a work, work walk sounds good. Um, yeah. Um, hey Zozo, how's it going? Um, Taylor Swift. Um, we've got Archie, do some arty. Um, welcome on Infinity. Hey, we've got Zozo on FF10. Um, I'm not twerking, Shammers. Not yet. Uh, ooh, banana. Uh, we've got Shammers on the Pokemon action. Um, okay, the other thing, the more light-hearted topic is, why don't people just shit on the toilet normally? I went into two cubicles today, and it's like they've got an elephant in to have a shit. Why, why, why don't people just, I don't know, use a fucking toilet properly? Um, We've got Supersonic on the uh, Miles Morales, uh, definitely check him out. Uh, we've got Finny doing some Katamari, also doing some fighting games, Diskea. Um, yeah, it's, um, um, I, I definitely say, like, I, I wouldn't say I have any conventional fears except that. Um, Come on, Artie, let's go party. Ha, 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 yeah. Good to hear. Uh, did you enjoy EGX, Finny? Hope you had a good weekend. Why don't people just, I'm a what, what, it Ah, oh. sorry, Jasm. Ah, uh, uh, uh. hey, kicking, how's it going? I'll never swear ever again. Meow. Cool, lovely cat, Jasm. Hey, Beaker Chan, how's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, if you're not from Beaker, she's doing some dank and romper. She is a legend. <laughs> what, what's in the top? Just like. I'm sorry, Arch, it's may, maybe not for an afternoon. Uh, Jasm, you're gonna have to buy a cat now. Someone in Discord shared he has a fantasia because he hated physics in university. I don't even love the class because it is a heuristic learner and never heard of the word before. Ah, okay, interesting. Okay, I'm all caught up in chat now. <laughs> right, now let's catch up on seven. And hey, Craig, how's it going? Hey, seven. How's it? Nice place, like time. What if it went wrong? What were your plans B, C, and D? My plan B was big, my plan C was cock, and my plan D was delight. <laughs> um, hey, Boo Meister. Huh? We're just talking about penises. B, C, and D. <laughs> oh, backup plan. No. Whoa! I feel we've all got a bit of seven in this eh? Yeah, so what are your plans? I want to change the world. 
right. Sometimes I want to go volunteer. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, I do really like that wave of mobile monster. Yeah, I hope everybody's Monday's going well. Sometimes I want to go fight the greedy politicians making that hunger act happen. Most of the time it's hard enough just getting up in the morning. Monday, bloody Monday. Oh, seven. Don't say that. Rejected me yet, yet last week. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah. Definitely very welcome to all the compliments that right, compliment me. Ah, oh, see, we're special. Helps when you know you can go in the dungeon after you, exactly. Yeah, mutual interest, you could say, like Korean barbecue. Ah. I am like food, eat me. <laughs> Just stung it. <laughs> oh, I want pizza. Uh -huh. Get that. Look at seven, too cool for us. Okay. Um, so we've got a couple of dates we can do. I think what I would do is, because um, we did a lot of date stuff last time, I'll probably finish off a dunge um, and then we can sort of end up on the, the dates. So let's take your seven with us. Down to floor six. So we've got rid of the social aspect in Persona fit. Oh for the um new remaster. Okay. That's interesting. Is it gonna be like pure gameplay? Instead of like twenty hundred billion hours of chat. We're equal partners. Okay. Puppy. Didn't even go on a date on Friday. Oh, Alex, you never asked. If you asked, I would have said yes, but it's not Friday. So we can't. Sorry, it's just how it works. <laughs> no, Kenny, I won't. It's got Friday, and that's it. Right? It's, today is when I love Isaac. God, I've, I've only got so much juice to get out on a wheel. There we go. Sorry. Uh, I don't mean to disappoint you. Just because I feel like it's true. King meow in that but Oh no, not King. I'm sorry, Arch. We'll love you today, then. You know how I like to have my love? Make me coffee. Do you want a song, Gatch? Is that what you want? Arch. You look like you need some starch. And I see you're such a catch. And it makes me want to march. Because actually when I see your face, I know that you're the only one I need. You are so tasty. You're not like chicken feet. There we go. I like this sound. I, I probably meant to just don't have these colorful things. But... Oh, 
way. Ah, I didn't mean to get both of those. He only does that to Finn. I do not only do that to Finn, I just sang for you, Arch. Okay, all out of coffee. Lyrical genius. Thank you. A match is strapped to your back is not a good way to live in 2023. Uh, I think Jeff's gonna jizz on your face. <laughs> oh, I see. I only jizz on the thinner two. That's not true. My juices can only go so far. it was still probably I, I think everybody's I, I've just um, I've just sort of uh, committed myself to like, this isn't boyfriend dungeon this is friend zone dungeon for me uh, I've not seen these Sephiroth emo sorry if my speech sounds a little stilted it's because I'm trying not to hiccup Oh, a one week angel. <laughs> Toby. Very good. <clears throat> hmm. Who are you romancing right now, Niku? Sheesh! Let's go! <laughs> oh, come on, Niku, how's it going? Sheesh! 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 Um, if you're not from Niku, he's do some uh, Kakarot, got Finny on uh, Diskaya 7, uh, definitely check them both out. Um, I'm not really, I, I think Sawyer will be the next yeah. one, um, Finny. Sawyer's my, like my plan C. No, not Sawyer, Sunder, Sunder, Sunder. Um, Dad used to try to share a books he liked with me. Don't you do well, Niki? Ah. Uh. Evan stops talking and shrugs. You work really hard. <laughs> yeah. He's just fancying. But he wasn't loving me, Kendall. Unfortunately, at the end of the. Uh, watch off a gift. Yes. Just in time. Yeah, cheers, Niku. It's going smooth. Is there so much polish in this game? Oh man, um, <laughs> I don't think there is, but that would be fun. <laughs> Jeff fancy Niku on a Monday, saw them going out on a Tuesday, they were meeting lunch on Wednesday, and on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, <laughs> chill till Sunday. <laughs> and when on Sunday we played Mario Makers. Ready 
ability to get off this floor. And uh, go down the stairs. I find like okay, we'll, we'll swap to Sunder. Change your weapon. On Sunder, let's go down under. I uh, hope you enjoy GGX as well. Uh, if you're not following Colleen, uh, she's doing some Mad Max. And hey, Lexicon. How's it going? Welcome on in, Ape. Um, eh. Empress Satan, Step Lively, Wolf Art, uh, Typical Poof, um, Lexicon, <laughs> Waddle Waddle Waddle. Um, yeah, hope you're all doing good. How was your stream? Hey, Lucky Mess as well. <laughs> Default main message. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Yeah, hope you're all doing good. Um, if you're not following Link, all these uh, wonderful people are being shouted out. Uh, definitely do. And of course, we've got uh, Lexicon. Ooh, FF5. Love a bit of FF. Um, yeah, we're just doing some Boyfriend Dungeon today. Um, it's sort of like a roguelike and visual novel. Uh, we get to date with weapons <laughs> and there's coffee in it um, and then of course um, I guess on the typical day it'll sort of be platformers and RPGs Hey, uh, Infinity, how's it going? Do you have a lucky lucky? Um, and how was the Alundra? Infinity. Ching. Yeah, um, unfortunately, although it's called um, Boyfriend Dungeon, we've um, pretty much been friend zoned by every weapon that we've wanted to date. Hey, Savage. I'll come in. in. Has a gambus of the best game of 97. Sweet. I know. I mean, I'll get over it. I think. Come to this room last just because it can heal up. Put those weapons away. I would do, but they're like the best weapons as well. I mean, it's okay to defend, I suppose. Sometimes I have to tell myself it's just a game. You give them lots of murder. I know, man. Not only that, but one of them let me lick crisp dust off his fingers. <laughs> and then at the end of it, it's like, oh yeah, you're my best friend. Again, not that there's anything wrong with that. And I'd encourage uh, healthy relationships with everybody, of course. Sometimes when you're playing a game, you just want to live out your fantasy, right? And yeah, no problem, Penny. Uh, catch you soon. <laughs> it's karma. It is not karma. <laughs> Looks like Poof is blasted off again. Oh, yeah, hope work goes well. Um, and yeah, uh, welcome on in with the raid as well. Um, yeah, hope it goes smooth. And yeah, hope you're doing well, uh, Savage. Uh, are, you, are you going to TwitchCon soon? Oh, no. Oops, Daisy. 
too dang early for work. Oh no, not work. I think that's like the penultimate floor as well. Uh, I guess we can do a few other dates and then go back into the dungeon. Let's see what's going on in here. Hi. Hello. Hey, Jeff. I'm so glad you came. Oh, um, yeah, sorry. My voice acting is incredibly on the tone. I do apologize. Chance you over, smoothie menu. Sweet. Anything look good? <laughs> you <laughs> a fluffer nutter. You know what I feel like the sound of a fluffer nutter. I mean that was perfect. Oh awesome Super Sonic. <laughs> it's just what she sounds like. I think so too like Yeah, anything look good. <laughs> sweet, I do have a sweet tooth. Awesome. Oh we've not really tried out her weapon, have hmm. we? I always take the green goddess. I'm a creature of habit. Sweet yard. Oh, you. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, that's, uh, that's cool on my closing day. Um, fingers crossed all that goes smooth, uh, Super Sonic. Or at least I was before. A shadow falls over the table as the man approaches. Leah! Leah? Where have you been hiding? It's a change from a poo yard. True. The stranger bounces excitedly into view. Hello. Um. I'm not hiding, I just. Oh, where are my manners? Carlos, this is Jeff. Jeff, this is Carlos. We skate together. It's Arch! Arch, we found you! <gasps> she must have an Adam's apple. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Well, we haven't skated together much lately. Jeff, is it? So hungry, I'd eat this pack of scones. Eat it, eat it. <laughs> Mr. Gamer Watch. <laughs> Mr. Gamer Watch. Jeff. <laughs> Super Sonic. <laughs> it's Carlos Arch. <laughs> I mean, we used it well until the incident. So? Sorry, I. <laughs> Should have Arch come on Discord to voice him. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, I can't do an Arch voice. I, I was thinking of shying, but I, I just ruined it. Um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean... Oh, I heard you were coaching. How's that? <sighs> Coach me, Arch. It's a thing. How are the trials going for a new partner? Anyone look promising? Good, I mean, okay, you know you can't be replaced, but... <gasps> oh, wait, are you on a date? <laughs> well, we were, now fuck off, Arch. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop boring Jeff with all the skate stuff. <laughs> Damn, sorry, Arch. It's not Friday, Arch. He says your name with extra emphasis, like he wants to make sure you know he'll remember it. Oh. <laughs> but listen, Leah, love, it's been too long. I miss you. Please let me cook for you. I'm the chef yard here. But just chill out. Jeff can come if he will. Oh, you. Then someone can come and. Yeah, totally. We'll plan something. Leah twists nervously at her hair. Ciao. Okay, bye, lovely. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry, that's so awkward. Carlos and I were training for a Grand Olympiad in pairs figure skating. We had a really good shot too. And then I destroyed my knee and both our careers. Hey, Eckhart, how's it going? We just met Arch in game. So in the future, please don't be rude to him. Or any of my friends, but especially him. And I won't be rude. No, we've not got any boyfriends yet. Sorry. <sighs> I used to be an Olympic athlete and I destroyed my knee. <laughs> um, Master Chef Jeffy. It's that way. With an arrow. With an arrow. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you're not following Eckhard, he's doing some Sea of Stars. Uh, definitely check him out. <laughs> the latest remix. 
No, that's not your fault. Oh, so never blame me. But I know it's hurt him. It's taken me a year just to be able to skate normally on it. And the doctors say no jumps ever again. I miss the speed, the list of foes, the area, the adrenaline. <laughs> we can do stuff for adrenaline. Huh? Like what? <laughs> Buy a lottery ticket. Hmm. <laughs> I thought lottery ticket purchases are quite exciting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm boring. <laughs> you dream the last of your smoothie. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to get up. Only if you win the jackpot. What, what, what would you guys purchase if you won a lottery ticket? Definitely get myself some good coffee. Maybe we can get together sometime. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, maybe. Bye. Buy a boat and put it on your front yard like a massive boat. Okay. Take up two thirds of a street. <laughs> Are you buying a boat or a cruise ship? <laughs> uh, travel. Yeah, you can travel on Lexi's boat. A golden visa. Oh, that sounds good, uh, Kendall. A thousand percent wood. Yag! Oh, what would your pirate name be? Wait, I'm trying to think of a good one. That's not just like Long John Lexicon. <laughs> Steve a pirate. Okay, Steve a pirate. Obviously. Oh, sorry, I don't know how I'd miss that. <laughs> um, ah, welcome on in, Steve a pirate. I want to ride a dock boat. My name's already a pirate, Dave. Yach! <laughs> <laughs> Long John Lexicon. <laughs> that can be your name, Kicken. <laughs> Catch a 30. A Greg's a lot of the pies. Ah, You're a great listener. Good talk. Let's see what. Oh, I should have bought a gift first. If you kept me in your dungeon, what would you feed me? Mayonnaise. Um, yeah, if you're not from Bate Sperry's, do some Grim Dog. Um, yeah, probably a Greg's first. Hey. Okay, <laughs> I'll feed a uh, Bate Sperry Rod. Hey, QD, been working hard. <laughs> Going to the dungeon, making friends. Don't know how you do it. You work and work and just keep working. It's because I'm non stop. Uh huh. Some aspects are challenging. You could say that. I like more to love it though. Greg. Yeah, wouldn't you buy a Greg's? Sunder clears his throat. You feel an impulse to give a gift. Mm -hmm. So, was there anything you wanted to ask me? <laughs> Can you turn it to a bat? Obviously. <laughs> Turning it to a soul. Oh, shit, yeah, you can turn it into a soul. Ah, what? What's a shit vampire? Ugh. I hope no older vampires are watching us right now. Creepy. I am allergic to sunlight, garlic, and churches. Okay. And he's my blood mother. Oh, was you were one who bit him. It does depend where he puts it. Obviously, bad day's fair. Gonna put it in your ear. Gonna put it up your nose. Have nasal sex, is that what you want? No. Bad day's fair. You'll have the mayonnaise in your mouth. Like a good bear. Yeah, the music's really good in this, isn't it, Arch? I dig it. Here I am, eternally young, because you like my face. Uh... We haven't been lovers in a long time. 
hands. Uh -huh. forward. Yeah, it's not bad. It's as well with vodka. There we go. I'm the one in your dungeon. You tell me where it goes, Jeff Dad. <laughs> Sir Jeff Dad to you. No mayonnaise tonight. Except for I do. I'd kill to eat a donut. But even donut makers don't taste similar. Are there war wolves? No. Death wolves have some moon related hmm. baggage. They never migrated to California. Oh, there's Nico here. Yeah, it's a really good theme tune, isn't it? And I get to ask you a question. What's the question? Fair warning, it's a bit of a doozy. You're feeling restless and purposeless. What would you do with 200 years? Mm -hmm. What do you really, really want? I want you. You see some... Oh, for God's sake. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'd be nice. It's a lot of work, though, you know. Even just thinking about the next 100 years. Okay, let's not plan that long. Down to rail. <laughs> Sunday's getting down and there. Everything reminds me of death. Like it's all rotting and doomed. Okay, Lexicon, you can have Sunder. Having his rotting bottom. Except when you hold me, uh, there's a moment of silence as he make me a vampire. Hmm. Never done that. Be Don't ask Mandy! How about a kiss for a rose? But give his dead heart a jump start? Sure. His lips are soft, but he alternates between distracted and urgently hungry. You know, everybody has a kink, too. <laughs> He's a real tycoon. <laughs> Two. Yo, tell me what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I want, I want, I want, I want, I really, really, really want a bad taste bear. If you want to be my bear, you better have mayonnaise. Put it in your hair. Then I'll sing your praise. <laughs> um, you had home. Um, Much day to do in daytime here. Mostly just talk to the spiders and daydream about you. Perfect. Same old. Uh, yeah, we've gone a dunge. So hard work and it hurts. The dunge feels less work with you though. I'll say that. At least you stop sending me that bloody rose. Hey Ash, how's it going? Welcome on in. No great listener, maybe you talk too much about me. Let's make up for that now. You like cats or dogs, ferrets, what's your favourite music? <laughs> it's loud decay kind of music. I mean it's not cats. DJ's out with Inca, any indication? Yes, see it. Well, that conversation went well. Where's the dog answer? When last my stream, 90 Day Fiance, there's a guy who didn't wash his hair and just put mayo in. <laughs> really? Why are you taking a piss? <laughs> Leia. Lay She's a best boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, but it's um, not actually used Leia. Um, Maybe we'll give it a shot. I mean, let's um, venture off to the dungeon. Uh, but yeah, if you're not following, that was no naked. <laughs> um, if you're not following, gas, she's disappeared to rhythm. him. Okay, where are we off to? Isaac. Season of 90 Day Fiance. Oh, what is, wait, it's no naked. So, this is real. It's like a bloke who just washes his hair with mayonnaise. 
that I'm just googling this. Is there a guy who washes his <laughs> feet? No. <laughs> Hair with mayonnaise. The Mayo Hair Mask is one of Big Ed the Bid Ed's signature quirks. Oh shit, he legit does. What the fuck? Oh, that's disgusting. Honestly, it looks like Bad Day's bad after he's been shat on by a pigeon. And then put mayo in his hair. But what's he doing that for? I'm self-conscious about your physical appearance. So, so you put mayonnaise in your hair. You smell like an egg salad sandwich. I mean, you know, he, I think he looks cool. I wouldn't be self-conscious if I was him. I think he's got, got a neat little physique and um, it, mayonnaise, though. Oh, Penny, that's disgusting. <laughs> it is. It is horrific. <laughs> uh, okay. Surely you could wear some colours. Sometimes just right. a little bit. Ooh, ah, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, ah. Uh. I didn't say it is good. <laughs> but would any of you try it, though? Disgusting. Just for a day. Uh. Isaac looks away uncomfortably. Orange. Isaac seizes on your presence to say, well, change your topic. Um, you could try pink. <laughs> uh. Uh. Woof. I just have an exani with lots of nail eyes. Today my brother has a friend over, and we are all about to have some fish and chips or mushy peas. Time not to think about it. Oh, sorry, Khalid. And, and, and sorry, Khalid's brother and friend. My apologies. <laughs> I hope that wolf was um, underwhelming enough for you. Hey, we'll, we'll change the subject. Um, has anybody had anything nice to eat? That isn't hair-induced mayonnaise. Wasn't even my idea, remember? You said you wanted a wardrobe refresh. Now book up, be brave. You're strong enough to wear pink. I believe in you. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for that bad taste, but it's perfectly underwhelming. Awesome. I did defeat my fears of masculinity, or I thought I did, and Vincent would hate it. Alright, I'll try it. Wish me luck. Mayo gang, rise up! <laughs> I know what I'm getting for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Mayo, Mayo, Mayo. Okay. I can never remember whether I put a bloody limit on these things. Kelly Mayusters. <laughs> Hair clothes being tried on with slightly panicked undertones. And some teenage kicks. There's an ominous silence <gasps> and an anguished cry. Why did I come back to. Ugh, just go away again, Ilfen. To come back in 10 minutes, it'll be over. Oh, thanks for the nice tweet to Jazza. No, that's not go away as in go away, Tate. That's go away as in give yourself some time, cool down. Come back in five minutes, hopefully, with the change subject. <laughs> oh, mayo tea. <laughs> What's wrong? Are you okay? Do I need to bust down the door? <laughs> oh, no, feel free to spam them if you wish. I think you mistakenly added a word back to that sentence. <laughs> Did I come to the mayo? 
Oh, is there a cooldown? Oh. Sorry about that. Okay, maybe we can remove a cooldown. I just... I can't do it. I can't open this door. Wearing this is too much. Sorry to disappoint you both. It's okay, you tried. Took some photos. Perfect. LeMayo. Very good, Arch. Never knew Finn will make that much. Mm. <laughs> An early ch choked a lot mayo shake. <laughs> Disgusting. Capulous. I did actually have a big dictionary that I used to read these words out of, but it took me so long to find them. Trapulous, caused by or showing the effects of alcohol. Fair enough. Oh, Zach, don't be silly. Who's Zach? Yes. Oh, Isaac! It's too big to handle. Can you tell yourself that, take? I've seen the size of your hands. Maybe we can try this again someday. I'll work on it. Are you sure that's where I feel? Oh, that's interesting, yeah. You guys are wit. <laughs> I'm not the one masturbating over mayonnaise, old finity. Me the weirdo. No, no, no. You're the weirdo. I'm getting this one for Carlos. He'll love it. <laughs> Don't get, I've got kink shaming. If people like pleasuring oneself over <laughs> mayonnaise, that's up to them. Over or into or both. We say goodbye and head off together discussing cufflinks and lapels. That's how you get more mayo. Great. Okay, um cough thunder. Yeah, we're doing some dunge. Let me know when you have a set. Get away. Okay, let's try this new one, Leah. Oh, we must have tried it out actually. Yeah, I guess it. Tell you what, we'll stick with Isaac. Isaac and Seven Metal Gods Street. Mayo is great. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. Sorry. Bad taste bear. Yeah, bad taste bear. <laughs> an elevator shortcut would be really helpful to find. More food than it's deep enough. Ooh, that last one would get some really good help. Drop See, I found my people. Uh, but the, okay, you know what? I've gone on about mayonnaise too much. Just, if you like it, good. Just don't put it near me. There's just too spicy. Cause I'm spicy. No, if you like it, bad for you. I want to be a karma. No, bear, you can't be a karma. No, bear. This is my fault. I hope all your mayo spoils. Oh, this is a rubbish journey. Yeah, no problem, uh, Lexicon. Uh, thanks again for the raid. Uh, we'll probably be finishing up in five minutes ourselves. Um, 
ill aim from the mayonnaise. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hope you have a great rest of your Monday. I'm gonna catch you later. Yeah, it's like a, you can play a little game with it actually. Let's see what these guys have to say. Mayo or your mayo spoil. <laughs> See, and here, because the colours are complementary, we feel more intense. Oh, like colour blocking, that does make sense. Huh? I like blocking colours and nearly stuff in the painting before moving on to details. Mayo, mayo, spoil. Uh, no, it's a fashion term, but don't worry about it. Please go on. To get a little more into it, I like to lean on cooler colours for pieces about intuition or abstraction. I was serving warmer colours for more energy or something more physical and social. And yeah, have a good um, lunch, Arch. Um, it was great to see you in game. And um, yeah, um, catch you later, dude. Um... Gah! Like, take Jeff here. He always looks fantastic. But I think he looks best in warm. See, look, I always look fantastic, guys. Um, yeah, if you're not following Monsieur Arch, um, a new stream on the block, doing some art. Um, also recently hit affiliate as well. Um, so I'd say, let's spin go summer, but you would analyse it differently. <laughs> I'd say the warmth is because he makes us want to get out there and slay monsters. I hadn't thought of it that way. What seasons do you prefer to wear? change it up. Me too, California doesn't even have seasons. See guys, California doesn't even have seasons. I love to try new combinations of pieces and accessories. Even if I tend to wear the same thing most days, I guess that says something too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought your creations say more about you than anything you could wear. Oh. Yeah, nice work. Um... Oh yeah, of course. Hey. Enjoy Jeff, I mean, look, I'll season you. Huh? In nature, I often... Wait, I thought we were leaving. Okay, let's look out the door. Right, um, so we've got to call it here, folks. It's just been under an hour. Um, next scene will be Thursday with some more Ratchet and Clank. Um, otherwise, it will be on um, next Monday for more Boyfriend Dungeon. <laughs> Talking season one or season seven? <laughs> I don't think Tate can make it past season one, can he? Can he? Uh, let's see if we can read a Rudy. We've got a uh, bit wizard doing some uh, Parasite Eve. Great little game. Um, raid message, of course, can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, bit wizard is a, a really chill streamer. I'll just actually make sure that is not ended. Um, I do raid out um, because I think that's happened it the past few times I've died. Um, okay, good. He's still on. Um, so, yeah, raid message can be whatever you want it to be. And um, we'll catch you next time. Um, been seasoning since Doctor Who started. Oh, that's cool. I'll give a shout out to Ale. I have started raiding. Um, but um, it's Ale 1, isn't it? Yeah, definitely check out Ale as well. Um, I 
in some uh, death commentary. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, you can uh, ch check him out there. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. So I've got to wait for me to go through now. But yeah, goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Um, catch you guys next time. Bye. Um, and for those who are still hanging about, cheers, guys. Hope you have a great day. And, um, yeah, I feel like, although the dungeon wasn't as successful, I'm trying to get to OBS, um, although the dungeon wasn't too successful, um, I feel like we did a good job, there we go, um, <laughs> doing the other bits and pieces, right, <laughs> so, yeah, catch you guys next time, bye!